Hey, are you having problems with your BMW's transmission? Is the rear end clunking or giving some kind of hard shift? Um, are you getting the 4x4 error code or the check engine light or brake light? Well, I'm gonna share the quick and easy way to fix the BMW X3. Um, and actually, if you stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to fix it for free, your transmission. Okay, I, I have some helpers here. Actually, this job is going to be so easy that these two girls could even do it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, 10-4. All right, first of all, you're going to go up under the driver's side. Okay. And, okay, be able to take down the heat shield, bend it down. You'll have a cross member that goes across the transfer case of the transmission. You okay. have two bolts on either side that are 13 millimeter. Remove those. It'll allow the transmission transfer case to drop about two or three inches. That'll give you plenty of um, access to the servo motor. You'll want to disconnect the two connectors. One there, the other one's on the side. There's four number, uh, I think it's T11 torque bolts that'll come out. Um, so you have to have female torque bits to remove those. Take a T25 and remove the four bolts that are holding on the motor to the servo gear. When you pull it apart, you're gonna expose a worm gear inside. Exposing the worm gear. This is not your problem. The problem's gonna be a gear inside of here. Okay, once you've got it separated, uh, this is basically where I'm gonna show you how to do the job for free. Um, normally, you're going to see somebody want to go and replace this gear right here. Uh, you get them on eBay for $10, $11, But my suspicion is um, the BMW gear, the original, is going to be a much harder, better plastic than the aftermarket that I got offline. So anyway, when you pull this apart, I want you to notice where the, you can see it in there. The flat, it's got kind of a flat spot on the gear where it's, I mean, the, um, where the worm gear has worn down the main gear inside. And what you're going to do at this point, once you have it apart, and you can see that, put like a um, Sharpie mark on one side, and then you're going to do a complete 180. You're going to turn this all the way around and do a 180 where you're actually putting the bad spot of the gear on the opposite side to where, let's just say if you've got 140,000, 150,000 miles on your car, in theory, it should go at least that much more um, using the other side of the gear inside. Again, if you don't want to, you can take this um, C-clamp off inside here you need to take this little cover right here off, expose it, put this gear back in, um, lube everything up good, which is what I'm gonna do here in just a second, and um, put it back together. Okay, now I've lubed up the worm gear. Also put a little grease inside, and I'm gonna reassemble it. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the torque bit to put on the actual motor to the gear assembly is uh, T25s, but normally I just look at them. My fingers are like micrometers, um, and my whole like hand and arm assembly are like um, torque wrenches. But uh, that being mine, I think it's 14 newtons is what you're supposed to put this uh, newton of force, what you're supposed to put these back on with. Okay, once you've got the servo motor put back in with the four torque bolts, um, connect both connectors here and there. And then now it's time to reconnect the cross member. 
of the transfer. Okay, I do have a confession to make. Uh, overestimated the power of my right arm and um, needed a little bit of extra help to get the um, um, transfer case raised. However, if you're strong enough to do it without the use of a jack, please comment below and let us know the power you have. Okay, as you can see, the 4x4 and the brake light are gone. It appears that's fixed the problem. Uh, this video also is for people who already have some mechanical ability. I didn't go through and show each little nut and bolt that was turned, um, but it did show exactly what you need to do and how you can do it and not spend any money. And that's the main thing. Well, and longevity.